Hey there, folks. Zeus Boss Banner here with another episode of my program, Zeus on the Loose. Uh, we here at the Zeus Moss Banner channel want to wish everyone out there a Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm the only one in town right now to put something up on the YouTube at the moment. <laughs> leave, leave him snow. Uh, he's a man that does what is this, what is this. <laughs> Can't say it just once. He and, and surely they went to visit an old friend. Leave him's uh, childhood friend Lenny Eisenstein. Leave him and Shirley are going over there to do their best to... Maybe bring him to the Lord to witness to him. Because the old guy, he believes in reincarnation. I met Lanny one time. He, he told me about some of his so-called past lives. <laughs> he said once he was a rain puddle on the sidewalk. But the life after that wasn't so bad as he was just a leak in someone's roof. <laughs> and, and and my brother, Fritzy, he went over to Pakistan. I know it's a bit volatile in that part of the world right now, but there's, there's this little restaurant he likes over there, so, <laughs> and you know Fritz, he takes every advantage he can with that security clearance he's got and all, so, now I'm sure he's eating a big plate of yak me right about now, TT and Woo Woo, they went off to Lake Tahoe, do a little skiing, and ask some questions about the death of Sonny Bono, so, it's just me here, as a matter of fact, Right after I make the video, I'm going to visit the place of my birth, which is really kind of just a guess. <laughs> See, my parents, they, they worked for a, uh, they worked for a traveling carnival, like a sideshow when I was born. And, and my mom, she went into labor with me, uh, one morning while she was oiling up the strong man. And you see this, uh, that's how I got my name. See, I was named after one of the acts in the sideshow. There was this little dog named Zeus. <laughs> he was a little three-legged dog that couldn't bark. And about ten minutes after I was born, the, the dog, he dropped dead. <laughs> Mom was fond of it. So that's how I got my name. It's not from that pagan god. It's from a dead dog. And thinking about that sideshow and the axe and all, that reminded me of a film a friend of mine made some years back about people who uh, you know, do stuff out in public for money. You know, like for tourists and people passing by. So it's a, it's a, a very interesting piece. I thought y'all might like to see it. So here it is. Enjoy it. When I was six years old, my father was stationed in England, and uh, I remember going to Piccadilly Square in London, and that's where I saw the great tosser, this street performer who could juggle just about anything, anything and everything. And I remember standing there for hours in amazement uh, at this guy performing as a crowd gathered around, and they would drop coins into his hat. And many years later, I guess that memory still left an impression in my head, uh, a strong enough impression, I guess, to try and make a film about people who do that kind of thing on, on the street. <laughs> man could make a decent living out here, you know what I'm saying? But right. it's just, it's not the same anymore. What do you think has changed? Well, for one thing, the, uh, the air. The air back then was, was free. Just started, really. Hey, how are you? 
So you ever, you like clowns? Do you like to see the clown act? Yeah. Yeah? I want to leave the kids with a message, you know. I mean, we're living in a time uh, and, uh, and a, a day and age when you got to watch out for your, your various and sundry parts. You don't want to go and, 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 and get hooked up with the wrong person and have, you know, the you know disease coming at you. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen uh, uh, balloon animals? Mm -hmm. You see, I can do Eleanor Roosevelt and, of course, uh, if you're uh, second vice president, I can't, his name escapes me. Is this sort of full-time work for you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, I work uh, 10, 10, 12 hours a day. And it looks like some uh, some folks have been appreciating your service here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, m many, many uh, put money in after I stop. I started out uh, many years ago over in the communistic countries of Eastern Europe, uh, like Hungary and uh, Czechoslovakia. I met with a man uh, called the uh, Bogdan Schulz, who was a very, very important man, and uh, became very famous. Give me a minute. What is the service that you provide here? I see you've got a friend. Uh, his name is uh, Melvin. This is Melvin. Melvin. Okay. Can does Melvin say hello or? And it is a monkey. How much, uh, how much for the roses? Two for five. Two roses for five? Yes, sir. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, thanks, sir. Do you grow the roses, or how do you acquire the roses yourself? Or do you yeah. get them from a shop? Or? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, I don't want you taking my picture unless you put a buck in there. How long have you been out here? A week, a week and a half, a couple days, since noon. Yet I don't, I don't really see a buck in there. Mostly I just kind of stand out here and uh, actually could I sit down now because I'm not doing too good. I haven't sold any, actually. I haven't sold anything for a long time. How, well, how, how long have you actually been out? Not today, but in, oh, in your Oh, well, I see. What's today? Is today's June. 24 years. You, and how many have you sold in those 24 years? Uh, are we talking gross or, or retail? Uh, you're not aggressive as far as you just kind of let people with they kind of passive aggressive I just kind of sit here and give them the old small so let me see the smile again my nephew is working the younger crowd so he has an autograph bar of soap from Lenny Kravitz now, I don't I don't know how he got it but I'm sure I'm sure the circumstances are very interesting. I mean, do people sort of just see you with the monkey and put a dollar in, or...? Well, sometimes. Sometimes they run. The, the monkey uh, is the, uh, a mime. Uh, did you say yours is a is mime? No, it's a mime. M-I-M-E. Mime. The monkey's a mime? Yes. Can it do some mime, um... Oh, yes. Yes, certainly. Show me some mime. Yes, you, you see, this is the classic. You cannot get out of the box. Let's see the monkey do some more mimes. Oh! Oh, right, right. See? I can see. I can see. Uh, how high he goes. No. Yeah. Mime down. It does... It does... Uh, uh, Danny Osman. I think these folks were interested in the picture. Uh, did they stop by and give me a dollar? No, they just... I don't think they put anything in, but they were looking at you like... Like they'd like to take my picture? Yeah, they kind of had that look. Maybe they'll come back. Go ahead and hurt the woman's feelings. It's really all she's going to let you do. No matter what you say, she's going to find a way to hurt her own feelings and blame it on you. Uh, uh, what's your name now? My name's Dave. I'm doing a documentary on people who, um, yeah. I guess, have an act for the street. Yeah, okay. I, I take rap music, the words to rap music, right. and put them to opera, to bring popular music to different generations, different people, and classical music to the opposite. So you're going from generation to generation. Mostly right. I do gangster opera. I'm, did you say gangster opera? Gangster opera, yes. <laughs> 
Living in the hood has got my mind no whack. Ain't no jobs left except for a sling crack. I believe in fate. Right. And I'm the kind of guy that if I happen to be in, in Virginia, I'll stop and buy a lottery ticket. And I've also found that uh, it, placing lottery tickets under a paperweight that's shaped like a pyramid, that doesn't work. I just wash hair I gotcha. and try to make the world a lovelier place by a, my presence. A cleaner place. A cleaner place. Just the beauty that I create because I feel if I create beauty, it will reflect in everyone's life and enrich mine. My customers are very generous and they're very, very good to me. Are you folks at all interested in getting your hair washed for free? Yeah. Free shampoo and style. Have you seen this kind of thing in Ellicott City before? I've no. never been to Ellicott City before. <laughs> you probably won't come back. <laughs> You know, I just find my skirt creeping and creeping and creeping. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank Take you. it easy now. This is called Rainbow with Seagulls. And it's a computer monoprint of mine. And as you see on the back here, it's uh, $300. Okay. Now, if you don't want this and Dave, you can get this one. This is an original drawing of mine. This is cool. Yeah. You may want to get in closer and get some details of that one. But this one here is 200. It's an original ink drawing of mine. So if you go to your ATM and you can get out 300, which is I think the limit, you can get the uh, rainbow with seagulls, or you can have $100 left for yourself and uh, buy this $200 drawing. This one here is called Sacred Jewel, and it's 300 also. And you can go ahead and get an extra 300 from your girlfriend and buy this one. Well, she could go to her ATM. Yeah, I could go and to and my get out, ATM. Yeah, and get 300 each. Come and back. you could buy both of those. For 300. Can you do that? Is there a reason why you're shooting me with this camera here? I'm selling this for $400. It says, it says one dollar, I know, but this is a special. I really don't want to let it. All right, twenty-five dollars. Oh, What's okay. that on your shirt there? Uh, well, uh, yeah, um, I, I don't know if you can focus on that. Is there a story behind that, or uh, there very well might be. See, I bought this at the two-dollar store, so I really, I really don't know. Do you haggle generally? Haggle with the prices, or do you just go with the one dollar? I go with the one dollar because look, I don't have a permit. You know, I do have other clothes. My car is right over here. Is it clockwise or counterclockwise? It's... No? Got it. Okay. If this isn't your car, I mean, we don't have to do this. Now, see, now, now this is a little more conservative. And right. this, I hate this color blue. This is Val Dufour. Now, I really wasn't an autograph ham. I never collected autographs. And I met this guy, he was a soap opera star. And he said, would you like an autograph? And I said, no. But he, in, he insisted I take it, so I took it. I didn't know what to do with it. So I started after that collecting even less famous people than Mr. DeFour, although there's still a lot of fans of his around. It wasn't until the Coen brothers came around. Now, I wish I had the Coen brothers. Right. Now, I do have a Coen brother, but it's spelled different. C-O-H-E-N, yes. That's not so Yeah, funny. they never were in the film business. You they were have the, it they, well, I do have it. Yeah, they, 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 they're in the dry goods business. Now, if you were to sell any of these, would you tell people, hey, I have the Coen brothers, and then don't explain that it's spelled different? Or would you just say, well, no, it's you not, know, you're know, pretty honest with A your Coen business? is a Coen. How many people are related to Coen? I mean, if even if it's not the Coen brothers, it's a Coen. And it's close. And to you, that, Am I right? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. And to, <laughs> to you, that adds value to the um, I, it, thing He agrees. Now, He's one of the many people who have never bought from me. Perhaps he's your first sale today. I don't think so. And of course, if you want one for your kids' room, this is a great print for your kids' room. Okay. And this this, this is called Nightmare from Hell. And that's a poison green snake. It's, it's like uh, you walk 50 paces, you're dead. Point now the way to the ATM. Now it's right up, right up there. Up now he's gonna go get his camera. He's gonna take my picture. No, no, no. Just, uh, oh, he's got a friend's gonna take my picture. Oh, okay. You wanna be close to me? 
Uh, I'm probably close enough. <laughs> Let me ask you, is that worth a dollar? Uh, well, I, I didn't give her a dollar. A token. Well, it's a, it's From the car wash, isn't it? It's, it's, hey! I want to put money in there. Jeez, man, you already have my picture taken. Don't let it blow away. Put it down under my... I don't want to touch it. Thanks, mister. Yeah, sure. yeah. And you let them take the picture even if they don't put the dollar in? What or? am I going to do, fight them? Um, looks so like it all up. Looks like you've got a customer. This is your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because I'm full of joy, 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 effervescent. Bubbly, come on, girl. Get up here. Now, look, I want you to squat down, and your head's going to go in this bucket, right? And I'm going to use these brushes that are German. They're really nice. You won't hurt your scalp. So you just bend your head over. Well, well just bend your head. No, just kind of, kind of, just bend your head over. Bend your head over. Mom, you want to give me your cup, too? Can you hold my cigarette, Miss? The best shampoo you'll ever get. Hold still! Oh, oh! I dropped my diamond ring, and that came from a customer. I, 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 and it's really pretty. Don't touch it. It's not yours yet, girlfriend. Are you aware that you're wearing a wig? It's wonderful because she will not only have a Marilyn Monroe feel, she will feel like a star. Are you pretty happy with the service that you got here? No. I would never, ever do anything illegal. I'm sort of a classical rapist. Greek. Nineteen fifty-three, my grandfather met Ed Light Stevenson. His car broke down, and Ed Light asked him if he would fix the car, and he said, "Sure." Little did Ed Light know that my grandfather didn't know a thing about cars. Well, it was in the middle of winter, and things. And Ed Light was a nice guy. The car broke down, and they did have to sell the car on the spot. But yeah. la see you later. And they would go down the street and had, a, had an apple pie and coffee. I didn't say it would be good. That's excellent. I don't agree with the government very much with their policies of uh, promoting uh, uh, safe uh, sexual uh, 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 interactions. You know, I, I don't believe, I believe that the really the, the most important way to, to relieve such uh, things is that is uh, absenteeism. The price you know. is only going to go up, I imagine. Oh, yeah, the prices do go up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, uh, if you bought one of these for 300 then the next day, if somebody wanted to buy it from you, it would be 600 Otherwise, Otherwise, you wouldn't let it go. So, th it basically, the... the uh, well, you'd be the owner of it. Then you could sell it anything you want because there's only one like it in the whole world. And it goes up 300 a day. Well, not 300 a day, but, I mean, you could sell it for even 1000 if you wanted to. Could I sell it back to you for 1000 No. No, I don't buy my work back. It only goes one way. Hi. How are you doing? Pretty good. You're back, huh? Yeah. Do you make a lot of money? Um, working with video? It's not bad. Not bad? Yeah. This one was a postum at, at the UN in 1960. Doug Homerschold had signed this for Patrice Lumumba on their way to the Belgian Congo. And how did you come across it? Well, uh, it was mailed It was mailed to my cousin. And we. I, it's unexplained. He made a sound earlier, or was that you? Oh, uh, may, may, maybe me. I uh, sometimes too much fiber, but he does... Uh, he does Yes, see, there he is. Yes. Now, if he were a true mime monkey, wouldn't that sort of break the the mime code? I want yeah, my no, two daughters are. today. Are those folks with you? They're really uh, anachronistic. They're out of time and place. They're looking for a two dollar sale, and they're not going to find an elegant city. And yes, she was. Now, this this was actually done by her granddaughter. And because her da granddaughter had a multiple personality and thought she was her grandmother. So she signed it Gail Russell. Huh. Yeah. Was that nearly a sale? That was that was very close to a sale. That was that was what we call an exciting moment in this industry. Right. Yeah. Can you still hear me? I think so. I can. Can you? Because I could talk louder, you know. Yeah. Isn't that the guy who put Yeah. Were you pretty much happy with the service this woman provided? I got a picture. That's all he gets for a buck. He sounds like he was satisfied with that, though. No? Yeah, well, maybe he's a freak over. Huh? He's a what? Freak. <laughs> nah, I don't want anybody following me around. So I'd like to leave a message for the kids to have, you know, to leave here with maybe perhaps remembering me, you know, to take care of themselves, 
you know, to, to watch out for the, the you know, the sexually transmitted diseases and such, you know, that we don't want to uh, pr 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 promote that sort of thing, you know, especially in, in this uh, time of day in the, uh, in, the, in the 21st century. Can right. you even make one of them? What's that? Oh, well, yeah, I, I, I took lessons from a man uh, called the Bagran Schultz, who, yeah, Bagran Schultz, who, uh, who became very famous for escaping uh, over the Berlin Wall 15 minutes before they took it down. So just give me a minute. What would you like him to make? I'm a dog. A dog? Like a dog? Well, I'm 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 not very good at with the dogs. Um, I have I can make oh, uh, well, can a whole magician. A would, would you like just one of these? Well, Without let me give you it? one. I didn't get no hawk on. Wait a minute. I got some hawk on this one because I had in my okay. in the can, mouth. Can you make stuff out of it? No, they're actually really tough to blow up. <laughs> yeah, you got you know you got. You, I think you need like a pump to and actually That's an incentive, air. you know, not to smoke the cigarettes, because they're bad for you, you know. Okay, you don't want to smoke you. the cigarettes. I learned my trade, my craft, from the Bhagwan Shorts, who was a very, very important man. He, he could do a trick where he, whereas he would, um, he would uh, take his, his socks off without first having to remove his shoes. How do you know whether to give a balloon away or to um, sell it? I mean, how do you know when it's, okay, this is a sale, this, I should probably just be charitable and give the balloon away. So far, I guess you've given two balloons away. Well, geez, you know, you're opening a, you know, opening a whole new can of worms there with that. I grant that's as good. That's that's really cool. Now you could possibly. Leave the monkey sort of like that, just set a hat here and maybe go get a coffee and bagel or something and come yeah. back and see if, if well, somebody took your money or if somebody put anything in it. Yeah, that's, this, this is a, a, a something, you, you, you watch Melvin, I, I get nosh. Okay. Yeah. It looks like they're building something here. Is, is that a distraction to you? That oh, they, they no, no. They look, uh... They look like toilet brushes? Oh, they just look like that. Actually, they're, they're German design. Notice the blue, that's the new German colors. Fabulous. Would you like your hair shampooed? Well, you know, I, I it's just I gotta hold the camera. And I also have a, you know, I have an act where I try to get the kids to dance, wiggle around a little bit, get loose. Do, 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 I didn't bring it with me. It is an autographed copy of a stethoscope that was once owned by Niels Bohr. How do you autograph a stethoscope? Well, you know, that's Niels Bohr. He's a scientist. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> She can get a head start on hating your guts Because you're just like every other man You know, that sort of thing 